Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. So yeah, Bitcoin is just consolidating sideways. I mean, this is starting to um, be really, let's say, boring sideways range overall, but it's not a problem. I think nobody's got a problem with that because it's altcoin party right now. And um, I shared with you earlier today that <clears throat> that uh, indicator, the, the altcoin season index, which I don't really like because it's super lagging and super delayed, but uh, the Elliott waves have helped us understand already early in November that the market is changing its face and that the altcoins are starting to move. That's when I highlighted that um, we are going to see some very nice altcoin setups in the coming weeks, which we have seen, right? And the altcoins have been moving. And, you know, this altcoin index is uh, altcoin season index is you can forget about it, but it's not very uh, helpful overall. But still, it um, indicates that, you know, we, we it just indicates what kind of market we're in. Right. And people are more interested in altcoins right now. That also has to do with the situation that Bitcoin is consolidating below very, very strong resistance. Bitcoin has not pulled back in an impulsive way. So we have seen a reaction now a few times to the micro support region that are shared, Fibonacci support region. And this is what we can work with, right? It's the area between $95,618 and $92,418. Bitcoin has a chance to hold this wave two, like a one, two setup. Bitcoin has a chance to hold this wave two um, and to maintain this, let's say scenario, as long as we hold above 92,418. Okay, so it's it's a possible five wave move up about which I discussed or which I discussed in previous videos really in detail. And also that I don't really like that structure so much, but it's still a viable um, five wave move up. And the pullback so far is in three waves. So in my first video today or well yesterday, depending on the time zone, um, we highlighted that look this could be an abc structure to the downside and remember we were just in that support area in my first video and i gave you not only this support area but also the fibonacci target zone here between 95,273 and 93,517 for the internal decline and the price reacted it you know after that video the price had reacted but we did not see the breakout above the previous swing high at 98,200 that would have been needed really a sort of further confirmation that a lasting low or at least a substantial low has formed. Okay, the price fell back into the range, but we have not broken below support. We broke below the previous support low, but um, be below the previous support level or not support level, rather swing low. But again, just dip back into the support region and we're leaving it again. Bitcoin is trying. Now, this up and down is good for the altcoins at the moment. Um, and as long as we don't see impulsive price action, to the downside, we could keep the focus overall on higher. I mean, I can count this bearish. You know, I could tell you that this looks like a one, two, one, two, one, two setup. So it was super bearish, right? I mean, essentially a good setup for lower prices into the 85K area, um, but that would need to be confirmed further. And I, again, I don't see it as a reasonable short, well, it is a short trade setup, but I. We're still above support. So I wouldn't want to short this in a bullish market like this. So I would rather look for higher prices. But again, the focus is more on the altcoins. I think at the moment, the Bitcoin chart is more about understanding, okay, what are the parameters in case anybody wants to trade the range. So far, I think the parameters have remained uh, stable and they have been, they work. The price reacts to these FIB levels, you know, pullbacks remain overall, I think, overall corrective. Um, I, I can still see that as a WXY structure to the downside and maybe the C wave has bottomed in Y of two, but then I need a little bit more here. So minimally I need a break above 97,480 now to indicate that a substantial low has formed and then a break above 98,200 and 99K and then we can attack the 100K area. But I guess then the focus will be back on Bitcoin. So at the moment the focus is on the altcoins and they have a lot to catch up, so I don't mind if Bitcoin goes sideways for a little longer. I don't think there is much more to talk about at the moment, so I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, and please check out the channel membership. If you're interested in the membership, in member-only videos and weekly live streams and so on, then check out our channel page trailer video. It explains in two minutes what the membership is about. 
uh, how you can join MCO and yeah, what it's about essentially. So there are member only videos, for example, for the supporter memberships on YouTube. Uh, today I covered a Q&T and Uniswap and yesterday, for example, Rune and WorldCoin, Algorand, Render and so on. And if you join as a gold member, you can connect to Discord and then you get access to much, 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 many more updates and much more content like educational content, trading view, live chart links, um, Elite Wave signals and so on. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.